It is the end of the 1920s. The newly established Soviet authorities need success and money. Kaima turned out to be just what they wanted. Here, geologists found several precious metals, but above all, gold. And it is mined to this day. During our search for the gold ore, we are accompanied by law enforcement officers. In the Stalinist era, 60 to 80 tons of gold were mined annually in this vast land. These mountains still hold plenty of the yellow metal. Here and there one comes across larger and smaller mines and open pits. There are eight men in this gang. They've come from all over Russia to seek work and have chosen Koima to look for the chance of a lifetime. It's over 300 kilometers to the nearest town. They're going to work until late autumn and mine between five and seven kilograms of gold each month. Human effort, sweat, is going to turn the gold into cold and anonymous bars. Each contains a grain of great emotions, hopes and disillusionment. In this mill, one of six in Russia, gold flows by the ton. The Kawima Klondike is still in full swing.